Hey guys, it's Greg. In this video, we want to share with you our review of Wise Guys. This game is set in the um, 20s of the last century um, and the theme is basically about gangsters wars. Gangster Wars, but I, and to be honest, I it's not my favorite theme at all, but I enjoyed it, this game really, and I think this is one of the strongest worker placements, uh, especially where you can uh, have a lot of um, negative interactions. So just check out this video if you are interested in this title. The thing I love the most here is the fact how exciting the gameplay is. Although the whole session is rather long and for four players can take even three hours, the game is so dynamic you can't feel the time passing. With your every action you are trying to predict what your opponents are going to do. Do you have enough gangsters to block and scare up the enemy? Is he going to risk the battle? How many guns does he have? Situation on the board can change in no time. Hiding cash, whiskey and guns behind the screens raises the constant feeling of suspicion and round construction forces you to be on your toes all the time. Even such thing as the phase when players can sell their whiskey can be exciting where you try to foresee how others are going to act and, it, and if it's beneficial for you to sell more bottles at this round. The game can be played only with three or four players at the table, and there is a reason for this. Each gang has its own skills and starting bonuses, and they impact gameplay a lot. The first impression was that two gangs felt much stronger than others. Joining the combat without losing the action sounded especially powerful, but gameplay shown that each gang seems to have the same chance to win the game. If I can point out one flaw common between most of the KL Force 9 games, it will be the mediocre quality of the components and rather average art style, which was mostly the effect of the original franchise depend on the game we focus on. Wise Guys is free from any restrictions in this matter and we finally get a game with outstanding table presence. It's good to see that publisher is growing and I hope every future game from them will keep the level we have in Wise Guys. You discover more and more locations you can visit each round, which not only keeps the gameplay fresh with each round but also increases replayability. Moreover, you are using only part of the location tiles available in total, so the board with each session will vary a lot. Up to this you have a deck of hustle cards with extra rules affecting all players, opportunity cards behaving like extra locations available only for one round, and last call cards being the events happening at the end of each round forcing you to prepare for them. This whole mix provides a massive replayability, making sessions different each time you play them. You can play the game without saying a single word to your opponents, but Wise Guys truly shines when you start bluffing, misleading others and playing mind games with them. While it's possible to track everybody's movement, and try to remember what each player has behind his screen, it's even better to mix it up with cunning, bullying and negotiating. Each session I have won more because of what others think I will do than I actually did. And call me evil, but satisfaction of tricking each other player at the table is priceless. For us it is actually a big pro, but I know many players who have problems with mean games and Wise Guys is a very, very mean game. To win you have to steal the best locations before the others, set others against themselves, exploit opponents when they are at their lowest points, stab them when they are not expecting this and above all wear your pucker face and lie, lie and lie. Session requires thick skin so some players can simply get mad and yes, you can play this game very politely and stay away from any aggressive actions, but this way wise guys will lose most of its charm. There is no safety net against 
targeting one player by the other. So if you have a reputation of a strong player, the rest of the table can focus solely on you as long as they will treating you as the danger. On the other hand, if you are good with playing above the table, you can use such situations to your benefit and trick players even more. However, if you are a constant target for others and you can't handle this, then you can end in a very miserable situation for the rest of the game. Because combat here can be very, very punishing, especially if you miscalculate and send all or most of your gangsters into the conflict, where the opponents will use the pile of guns. Losing most of your force in one combat can waste your whole round, and even another one, because each gangster leaves the hospital the next round after he was defeated only, if you are lucky with the dice. And then you need to spend more actions to put them on the board, try to get back your positioning in some locations, when the other players use the actions to get cash and sometimes build such a distance from you that there is no way you're gonna win the game. This whole recovery process should be definitely faster. Wise Guys is another very strong game from Gale Force 9, and definitely the best looking one they have published. Great table presence, strong mechanics taken from Sons of Anarchy, plenty of replayability and a lot of space for bluffing and mind games above the table creates the game we want and we will play more. Very mean nature of the gameplay, no safety net against ganking up on one player and super punishing combat requires plenty of social skills and thick skin. Because of that, it will not match every group of players, but if you and your friends are into such games, you are going to like it for sure. From us, Wise Guys gets a solid 8 scratches out of 10 possible. And this score can rise even more with the right opponents at the table. That's all for today. See you at the next game and do not forget to subscribe our channel.